Hi all, welcome to Die Dot 3D Tech YouTube channel. In this today's video, we'll see how to set up this simulator. Okay, so you can see here this is compatible with the all Futaba, Spectrum, JR, Avionic, uh, RCB7X, Flysky, Tarnichi, and more. So it will be compatible with all these um, transmitters. So so I'll show you how to uh, install the software and how to set up your transmitter. Okay. So in this, so I'm using this Flysky i6. Okay. So I'm using this Flysky i6. So I will set up this simulator with this. Let's see step by step process. Okay. So first, what is there in this? We'll see. So. In this you will have a CD so actually it is a 12 in 1 okay actually it is a 12 in 1 simulator so so in that you will have a different variety of simulators but uh, I'm uh, planning to install only uh, real flight G5 okay so yeah series and you can see different varieties of cables so depend on the transmitter you will be using different varieties of cables like this okay these are different like see? different varieties of cables you can see that's depend on the transmitter we'll be using a different varieties of cables okay You can see this is cable. Okay, for everything, this will be kind of like a common. Okay, this side, right. and you can see a cable here. Okay, so these are the cables, and this is the main important one. Okay, so this is the dongle. Okay, so here you can see. This is a 12 in 1 so you'll be having different varieties of uh, simulators you can use okay with this dongle so i'm planning to use G g5 that is the real flight okay so yeah this switch position you need to set based on what simulator you are using so at present it is in fourth i'm planning to use g5 so we need to set this to three okay that's it so and uh, yeah this one. so this is a, so for my transmitter you can see you can see here like this okay so you can see this cable is suitable for this okay so this is suitable and this other end will be connected with this cable it's kind of like an aux cable like this and other end will be going to this simulator so this dongle you can see now the dongle you have this so so this side is common for all transmitters means for all simulator but this side depend on the uh, transmitter you are using you will be using a different varieties of cable something like this okay. something like this cable depend on the, your transmitter okay so you can see so for mine I'm using this okay one end here you can see this cable and other end will be connecting here so now what i will do is i will insert this cd okay and uh, i will install the real flight okay after that i'll show you how to configure this one okay we'll see that so in the cd you can see something like this so i already copied everything into my hard drive so if you open the cd 
and uh, you can click on auto run and you can continue and install the g file or else uh, you can directly go here and click on the setup and install the uh, real flight g5 that is also fine any any method you want you can do that so here you can find the serial number uh, to install the g5 okay so you can open it and you can get the serial numbers wherever it is asking you can give so you will follow any method you want so you can see this is a 12 in 1 simulator in that i want to install g5 so i will click on this then it will come something like this then here you can select the language and click on next so you can click on next i accept next and it will be asking some name so you can give any name you want okay like this so you can use any one right? So you can yeah, you can put any one depend on how you want to install next okay or you can come back here and you can click on custom and next then you can show where exactly you want to install this so I just want to put it in D drive so just say okay then next so these are the packs like depend on uh, if you want depend on your interest if you want more you can install packs or otherwise you can uncheck okay that's up to you you can click on that next it's finished so just click on finish so now you need to open real flight okay so yeah it will be asking for the serial number so this serial numbers you can find here in this serial number txt so you can copy those numbers here okay so i will copy those then i'll be back after that it will be asking the uh, pack serial number even those serial number also it will be there in this uh, notepad document so i will enter all then i'll be back all the keys now it's ready for using so for now what you need to do is you need to connect the simulator dongle to computer and uh, from the transmitter you connect to dongle so now I will connect this dongle to computer then only I need to open the um, real flight simulator then only it will open otherwise the real flight won't open because it's not connected so you can see cable already are connected okay uh, other end it is connected here this i will connect to computer then i'll open real flight so i connected so now i'm opening real flight So initially you can see here uh, there is no response with the sticks and it's rotating because uh, this is not detected by the real flight so we need to uh, show that like you now that connection so for that you need to go to controller there you need to select ours is interlink alight so you need to select this then now you see the controllers are coming back but the thing is it's kind of like a reverse see when i'm moving the stick down it's going up this i'm taking up then it's coming down like that okay so these channels are reversed so that we need to fix okay so it's detected but channels are reversed so that we need to fix so first what we'll do we'll just uh, calibrate calibration is very simple just need to rotate the sticks like this rotate the sticks then say finish then now yeah now what we need to do this is the channel 3 this is channel 3 reversed and uh, channel 2 channel 1 so these three channels we need to first we'll see one by one 
for that go to channel mapping so first i will reverse the channel 3 let's see is it working or not yeah now it's working you can see this channel 4 is fine so now we need to work on channel 1 so taking up going down taking down going up so reverse channel 1 and channel 2 both should be reversed for that go to channel mapping channel 1 and channel 2 like this so now i think it's fine left going to left right going to right down going to down up going to up this one also going up left and right so now channels are fine so now it's ready for flying so you can pick so now you can pick any model you want then start flying so i'm just picking this one So I'll give throttle. I can do some loops. I can fly however I want. So so like that any kind of plane you want you can take. Can try with any kind of plane you want so this is this is the way you can install the simulator and uh, you can set up your fly sky transmitter okay so that's how it will work okay so you can fly with uh, any kind of uh, plane you want okay so there are more planes to fly so you can pick any kind of plane you want then you can try that okay so like so So it's very interesting so for the beginners it's very good so that they will understand how they can fly RC plane without damaging to the planes. So it's a good choice you can start with simulator to learn flying. Okay. So hope you like this video, please like this video and share this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you all. Thank you very much.